Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to, to do a really quick video on what it's like to own an Arabian and just show you um, a magazine subscription subscription that I'm subscribed to. Um, so first off, I just want to talk about Arabians and what it's like to own them. Um, some people like miss, what is the word, like the misconcept, I don't know what the word is, I can't think of it, but people will think badly of Arabians and think that they're mean horses because they're really smart and they're really, I don't know how to explain it, but they just have a lot of personality and a lot of people say that they're too much horse for them. Um, I knew a horse that I had, I knew a lady that had a couple of horses that I was really interested in for a long time before I got karma and it was before I had given up my lease for I got, sorry the light is really weird in here. And so, I almost got these horses, and, well, I almost got one of them. I was looking at a couple of them, but one of them was, like, really expensive, and so I didn't really want it. But the, the one that I really wanted was, like, 14 three hands, and she was just really cute and chestnut and small, and um, she was five. And she was, I think she was, like, a Polish Arab, but apparently a man bought both of these mares because they got a deal like this lady was a breeder and he got a deal if he bought two of them it was cheaper because she's selling all her horses and so he bought this mare um what is her name she had a name Anastasia and then he bought the sister was which was like Andrea or something and so he bought both of them he brought them home and he brought them back the next day or the next week I can't remember but it was like the next something and the lady was like why are you bringing them back? He, she's like, these are non-refundable. Like, it's an animal. He's like, I can't handle them. They're too much horse for me. And it was an old man that's been working with horses for years. And both these horses are Polish Arabs. Like, I just hear stories all the time about, you know, how mean they are. Like, I told my friend one time, I was, my friend was like, oh, what kind of horse do you have? I'm like, an Arabian. And he's like, oh, those are mean. Why would you want one? And I'm like, because I love Arabians. Um, they've always been my favorite horse. And the reason is because they're really honest. They tell you when you're doing something wrong. They tell you when you're an idiot. And they don't play around with you. They're not an old, boring horse that does what you tell them to do. They're really spirited animals. And they're just beautiful. I mean, they come from the wild. They, I think they were, like, one of the first originated horses, like, in the world. Like, they were made straight from God's hand, is what I say. And whenever someone asks, sorry, my hair is bugging me. Whenever somebody asks me what kind of horse I have and I tell them it's an Arabian, and then they're like, oh, those are hard horses. Oh, how do you handle them? I just tell them, um, I get away with my training and I get along with these animals because they're made from God's hand, and that's what I tell myself every day. If my horse is bugging me one day, I just think of that. I'm like, well, you're made from straight from God's hand, so obviously you're special. Like, you weren't bred off of a million other horses, and you weren't messed up like your breeding wasn't messed up some arabians can their breeding can be messed up obviously because they'll be bred with other horses but i think that they really were just made from god's hand because they're straight from the wild most of them and so i just think they're a really special animal and um karma has a lot of personality and spirit and she always tells me when i'm doing something wrong most horses do, but I think Arabians have a different way of telling you, and they're not going to let you just run them all over if you don't know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing with them, they're not going to let you get away with everything. Learn that. My other horse let me get away with it for a long time. I didn't have a good relationship with him, but he didn't really do anything. Karma, she doesn't let me get away with stuff. Me and her have a good bond now, but we know each other. Like, I know what she's saying to me, and I listen to her. So you just really have to listen to your horse. And um, I know somebody's going to ask me, or I've heard it before, basically. I've heard, is an Arabian a good horse for a beginner or for a child? Arabians are not good horses for a beginner. They, like I said, they're so intelligent. Like, if you're not a smart person, this is not talking about you guys. I'm saying, like, if there's an idiot that goes and buys an Arabian and then they're like, oh, stupid horse, that horse doesn't know how to do blah, blah, blah. You didn't train it right. You're not listening to your horse I'm sorry but that's that's how it goes and they're not for beginners you have to be able to understand the horses are really sensitive some horses I know horses who you can kick them and they won't go obviously it's a lack of training and responsibility with that horse but anyways they're just I don't think that they are good for beginners it depends though if you're taking lessons with one and it's older or something I think that would be a really great horse because Arabs are really smart but 
I don't think that it would be good for someone that's a beginner to go out and buy young Arabian, you know. But I do think that they take really good care of their owner if they know their owner really well. I think they take really good care. Um, Raja took really good care of me. Whenever I'd fall off, he would step away from me or he would just stay right where he is. Normally, he just stayed right where he was and I'd just fall and then I could get back on him. Like, he never ran away from me or trampled on me, which is I've always been scared that I was going to fall off of a horse and then it trample me. That just kind of was scary to me. And when you think about it, horses move away from object, objects. They don't charge at objects. So I don't know why that would be something that I would think would happen. But what if they were, like, going over a jump and then you fell off in front of them and then they didn't realize it and then they ran over you? Like, that's kind of stuff that scares me. But um, the only times I've fallen off Karma is when she had that bucking issue, which was when she was in heat. And when that's basically yeah, actually it. <laughs> that's the only times I've fallen off of her. Well, I've fallen off of her on accident when... Um, we were jumping, but yeah, that's a totally different story. Um, so yeah, I mean, I've always been scared, but I think that horses really like, if you get to know them real, um, well enough, ugh, well enough, I think that they really will take good care of their owner, especially Arabians, I think. I really think that they're just a treasurable breed. They were straight from Egypt or some sort of area near Egypt. I can't remember the exact name, but it's like a place that's near where the Egyptians were and the Egyptian the Egyptians um, went and got them and you know caught them. I don't even know how they caught them. They're really fast. But I just I, I can't like even not think about how beautiful that would be to be to see like a giant group of Arabians running with all their tails up and stuff. I've always wanted to see that because they're so pretty. And their necks, like, I've always, like, they've been, like, my idol, <laughs> which is kind of weird. But instead of liking, like, Taylor Swift or Miley Cyrus or something, what is on my head? My hair is crazy today. Instead of idolizing, like, people, I idolize that breed. <laughs> I've, like, I've been crazy in love with them, like, ever since I found out what breed they were. Because I had, I'd saw mixture pictures of, like, paints and quarter horses and Arabians and thoroughbreds. And every time I saw a picture of an Arabian, I'd be distracted and, like, look at it and be like, what breed is that? Finally, I looked up the breed of Arabians and I found out what they were. This was like a few years back, like um, before I took my lessons and stuff. Well, when I was taking my lessons, when I started like down the road. But I remember I just saw the picture of them and I had to like look and then I saw the name the label. I think it was like on Google and it was like Arabian and I was like, hm, is that a breed? And I kept looking them up. I'm like, oh my god, this animal is so beautiful. I never knew. I always thought that just. That, that was in most horses like most horses had that neck and that face and the tail but normally when you see that it's when they're mixed or if it's that breed some horses like paints will have the tail but I think that paints were originated from Arabians I can't remember if I'm wrong you can like let me know and give me like a site or something like that has the history I don't know much about paints or um, quarter horses all I know is that the Indians had paints and stuff like that but I love paints too they're like one of my favorite breeds um so yeah, I just wanted to talk about Arabians and stuff and why they're, you know, they have a bad rep reputation sometimes. They're just really smart horses and they're really, I don't know, they're kind of wild a little bit. Karma's not necessarily wild, but she loves to run. Most horses do. <laughs> what horse doesn't really like to run? Um, so yeah, she's just, I think Arabians, they, they play a special role in my life. I love them and I watch them and they're just the most honest horse, I think, in my opinion. This is all out of opinion, obviously. But, um, they're just special, and would I think that they're good for a kid? Mm, I don't know. I've seen some really good kids showing Arabians, so I think that you, if you have the experience and maybe the parents, you know, then I think that it could be a really good horse for a kid. But who's not, who am I to say that, you know? Go for it, you know? Look them up. Look at the breed. Go look at it. Ride it. Talk to the person who has it. Look at its bloodlines, you know, the best bloodlines in the world are Basque and Padron and, you know, all those. Those are the Polish bloodlines, though. They're Austrian Egyptian horses, which I think um, the straight Egyptian Arabians are the more aggressive ones. Um, they, the reason why they're, the straight Egyptian, straight Egyptians are more aggressive than the Polish is because Polish ones were originated in Poland and they were bred for their um, personality so they didn't refine them as much as the straight Egyptians. When straight Egyptians were made, they weren't refined. They were they were refined too much to the point where their faces, that's why some people think they're ugly too. They're like, oh, Arabians are so ugly. They have that teeny little nose. 
It's not because of that, it's because of the breeding, what the people have done to these horses. Like, they refine them so much that they, they, they make their face, like, so squished in, and people are just like, wow, oh, that horse's face looks like a little witch. It's ugly. I don't think that they're ugly. I don't even think straight Egyptians are ugly. I like their faces, but I think that that's just why they get a bad reputation is because of the breeding. The people did not know what they were doing. They just wanted the tail to be up and their neck to be long and swanish and their legs to be pegs and they wanted their face to be so squished up and their ears to be pointed so i just think that it was because of the people of why people don't like arabs because they didn't breed them for their personality and they made them kind of bad because they had bad manners they pushed people over which is also lack of training but i think that it's just in the breed if you breed them well then they're going to have really good breeding and they're going to be really sweet you know polish ones arab are Karma obviously came from a pretty good breeding because she's just naturally docile and sweet. Like, if I didn't do anything with her, I think she would still come up to people on the fence and she would still like people. She likes people more than horses. <laughs> so I just think that they can be they can be an extremely loyal animal, like a dog. Everybody says Karma's a dog. They all love her. They think that she's so nice. And they think that, you know, oh, she's an Arab. She looks like an Arab, but she doesn't act like one. That's because she is an Arab she is an Arab with good bloodlines, and she's an Arab that hasn't been refined to the point where she doesn't have personality. She only has looks, you know? She is loyal, and she loves people, and she's gentle with kids, very gentle. You know, I can come up and hug her butt. I can go underneath her and roll around and grab her legs and pull on her tail and grab her mane. She's so docile. She doesn't care what happens because she's been bred right, you know? It's all about the good breeding. It's all about what you've done with them and how much you've handled them. She's been handled since she was born, you know, by people. And she's always been in a pasture alone. She's been in a pasture with other horses, obviously she is now, but she was in a pasture by herself for a while. So she just, I don't know, she just has really good breeding and good handling. So that's what I wanted to talk about, you know, about Arabs. They're a really good horse. They're loyal, beautiful, smart, a little bit wild. <laughs> uh -huh. And they're, they're caring for the person, I think. I think they do care about the person. Karma always, you know, she always is sniffing me. If I'm mad at her, she gets kind of upset. I can tell her demeanor changes. She goes from, oh, let's look at stuff, and then she goes to focusing on me when I'm upset with her. She senses that energy. She's super sense sensitive. Like when I'm riding her, I don't even mean like I don't even mean necessarily like sensitive like to touch. She is sensitive to touch, but I mean she's sensitive as in personality wise. Like her senses are extremely sensitive. Horses are sensitive regardless they freak out when a paper bag goes by them you know like the wind you know makes them nervous you know but arabs i think that they have like 10 times more of that because karma is way more spooky and that's why people don't like arabs also because they're sensitive they hate that oh arabs are so spooky they that horse is an arab and it just got scared of the wind over there what a stupid horse no it's smart horses are always out there looking for danger you know they're always like what is there danger around? Am I going to get eaten? Is someone going to take care of me? Who's going to watch me? Is it, Where's a leader? I need someone to watch me. They're, I have to look around. I don't have a leader right now. You have to be their leader. Horses are scared. Yeah, they're scared all the time. They're predator. Or they're prey, not predator. I meant prey. So they're always on the lookout for predators. And technically, if you don't do things right, they could think you're a predator. If you're doing all sneaky stuff around them and, you know, if you don't train them right and you don't jump around them from an early age and, you know, sack them out they're gonna be scared but I just want to talk about that and get into detail about the breed Arab and what it's like to own one I love Arabs I love my Arab I love her to death me and her have a really good bond and we're getting there you know and when she is bad it's my mistake because I'm not training her right because she already has a sweet personality but you know I just I, I think that they're a great breed and if people don't like them then that's their opinion but honestly I don't see anything wrong with them I just think that they're really sensitive and they, you know, have a, they have a big brain. They're smart. They know, they know things that people don't want them to know sometimes, you know. They don't want, people don't want their horses to know necessarily that they're beating them. They want them to just listen to them, but they don't know how to talk to the horse. They don't know how to not necessarily, like, literally talk like I am talking to you. I mean, like, they don't know how to read signs and behaviors and stuff. And Arabs will show you, um signs if you can't read a quarter horse's sign you can't read an arab sign because arabs are they're more um advanced i guess they're just 
more advanced animal. That's what they are, you know. So I'd say for a first horse, a quarter horse is probably the best thing. They're really sweet and calm, and they're just, they're not stupid. I'm not saying they're stupid. They're just less likely to care about their surroundings as much as Arabs do. Because Arabs are so focused on their surroundings. Because there were once wild horse, so I don't blame them. Just like Mustangs. Mustangs are really sensitive, too. And I love Mustangs. I think that that would be probably my second horse I'd get. Because they are one of the wild horses. And I, I like horses that are more nature made. I don't like the little frilly horses that are made and bred indoors constantly, if that makes any sense. I like the ones that come from the wild, the more natural ones, the ones that are the real deal. The real deal, you know? Does that make sense? I don't really know. It makes sense to me. Like, I like the real deal. The ones with the real hard hooves that came from Nevada and the ones that have the strong bones and that carry weight easily, which Arabs do not carry weight easily, which is kind of weird. But I think it's just because they've been bred and stuff a lot. I think that the old Arabs, the ones from straight Egypt, straight Egypt, were probably easy keepers because they didn't get a lot of food and water. So I don't know. Oh, and they have huge lungs, which is pretty cool. They can go on for days. I mean, who wouldn't want a horse that can hear them for days? That's the coolest thing. Like, I just, I don't know. There's so many things I could say. You should check out, um, if you want to know more about Arabs, um, I can do a second video about this and tell you all about the great things about them that I love. Or you can go to AH a.com I don't know if that's the exact website but Arabian Horse Associ uh, Arabian Horse Association um, look it up on Google it's a great website it tells you about their history it tells you about different people like um, I think King Solomon or something said that they're beautiful I thought that was really cool one of the kings from the old days so yeah just check it out they have a lot of history on there I have to look it up again so I can like tell you accurate information anyway so this is gonna be my um, ending of the video i have a subscription to dover saddle saddlery and i'm actually about to subscribe to arabian horse association magazine because i really want their magazines i've always wanted them i just never got around to it and i didn't get my mom's credit card or anything to do that because i wanted to get their magazines i love seeing them and i just love looking at them they're so beautiful the pictures are just stunning so um yeah i i've uh, i don't even know how i subscribe to this website but i get them like every month i think and this is the summer sale. This just came. Huh, the little smiley face. My brother did that. It was on the counter. So yeah, this shows you all the sales. I love it. Dover Saddlery is a great website. It has like pretty much everything you need, like jackets, um, boots, um, vests and helmets. They have everything you can ask for. I love this magazine. It's awesome. So yeah, go subscribe to them. It's free. I, I think pretty sure it's free. That'd be awesome if it is. I think it is. So yeah, I don't think I've paid for anything my mom has I think I, I don't even know how I got subscribed to it. Go to their website. You can probably sign up and I think that's how you can get the magazines. But yeah, they're really good and I read them and I look at them, you know, and I look at the sales and I haven't even ordered anything off of it yet, but it's just fun to look at anyways, you know, looking at different stuff so I can get prepared because I really want to show Karma sometime soon, you know, walk, trot, canter. I still need to work on her canter leads though because she's confused sometimes. She mostly does pick it up right though which is the hard part because when she does pick it up then I can't correct her and make her go on the right one. Does that make sense? So like that's my only issue. Like if I took her into a show and then she accidentally picked up the wrong lead I'd be like well normally if she picks up the right one that wouldn't make any sense. So I have to teach her her leads and everything. But yeah so that's you know an update on me and why I love Arabians and the magazine. So just leave any comments below about what you think in your opinion and um I'll get back to you. I know I have some um, requests that I need to get to. I went to the stable today, but I didn't really have time to film. My trainer was there and stuff, and I was in a lesson basically, so I didn't really have time. I normally take videos when I'm alone or when I have someone to film me. But anyways, let me know what you think. Bye, guys.